Well, hello there. Uh, today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. It's election day. And I'm vlogging to take my mind off of things. I literally like opened the live election results immediately, which is exactly what I did not want to do. So I am trying to distract myself in all the ways. And so I went to my local coffee shop and I got coffee and they gave me a petite uh, pan au chocolat or do you, I got told that it's a chocolatine somewhere else, please let me know, but I know it is pan au chocolat. So I'm very happy that I got one of these. I don't have super exciting things to do, but sometimes the mundane is the nicest stuff to watch. Um, so actually today I have to go to the hospital. Fun times, um, nothing serious. I'm just getting like a checkup of a checkup for a skin cancer screening, which you should do if you're as pale as me or really anybody. Um, should go be getting their skin just checked. It's literally a doctor just looks at you and is like, hmm, that freckle's weird, and then they test it. If you are in the sun, if you go outside, get checked. Um, so we're gonna look at a hospital during COVID. How exciting. I've just got like work stuff to do. I'm gonna drink my coffee, eat my pastry, not look at the results. They're calling a lot of like the South, um, right now so things look scary but I don't know man so um so let's go do other things okay cool <laughs> heart makes it hard for me to share that love with somebody new i don't want anyone nobody but you and i don't plan to give up tonight don't listen to my chaotic mind i don't know where i'm going but i know where to be found don't tell me that you think it's time For it is not time Until I turn things around I don't want you with somebody new The mere thought of that image Brings me right back to Where I never wanted to be Never wanted Okay, hi friends So nothing exciting happened at the hospital But I am actually going to be meeting up With a new friend for dinner so I'm not gonna film that, but um, I have a weird amount of time in between then. So if I go home, I know I'm just gonna sit on the computer and refresh the election results. So instead, I'm gonna go to Tea Collective, um, a really beautiful tea place that I've taken you guys to many times before. Um, and it should have a really beautiful view of all the fall colors that I just saw at Sanjungnung. So um, I'm gonna sit there, calm down, read a book. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Great. And then we're gonna head over to Hebang Chon for some vegetarian food. It's always great. So let's go. collective clothes but we still get the view so look at that autumn cotton candy beautiful <laughs> Breath, listen to my voice The decisions I made have led me to a hell I don't know if I still have a choice Or if my reflection is me or someone else I will never want somebody new The tears and the heartbreak were all worth it for you
Hello, and welcome to another episode of taking public transportation very far outside of Seoul to hopefully get to a forest of trees. Um, public transportation takes us about three quarters of the way, and then we have to figure it out um, once we get to the station. So let's do it. Hopefully um, autumn is at its peak. It should be amazing. <sighs> let's find that bus. <laughs> I'm using a cow taxi for the first time in my life. I requested a taxi because nothing is coming. So we're gonna take a taxi to Quadam Soup. Let's go. Okay, so I am back in Seoul. Why? So I got my taxi and we drove all the way up there and it's like in a big resort, the entrance to the garden, and we had to take our temperatures. And as we were taking our temperatures, the like guy who was doing it was like, oh, you're going to the garden. Did you make a reservation? And I said, no, because you only needed them on the weekends. But he said, now because it's at its peak, they just changed it and apparently weekdays you also need a reservation but mm, I don't know I checked so that was kind of a bummer so literally I was just like can you bring me back to where you picked me up and he did and it was fine so that was just like whatever a nice ride I listened to a lot of good music on the on the ride over there um, but I just came back to I don't know I just picked a random place I had no I have no plans so um, we're in Mangwon now which is one of my favorite neighborhoods as you know and we're gonna get food because it is one o'clock and I haven't eaten anything yet and I'm delirious so we're gonna go to the market and we're gonna get carbs hot carbs my favorite um, and yeah let's do that now <laughs> Like my body is going into shock right now because <laughs> I just ate so much having nothing in my stomach but I'm very happy so we're gonna hit a cafe really quickly just so I can like sit down and figure out what I'm doing with my life because I was really going to go to that garden to like talk about photography and stuff like that because I'm trying some new things and um, that was going to be my lead in to Skillshare, which is a sponsor of this video. So thank you so much to Skillshare. Sorry that I don't get to show off my photography skills that I've learned on your website. Um, Skillshare is an online learning community. I've talked about them so many times and they have classes ranging from photography and creative writing and painting to other skills such as graphic design or even like 
bookkeeping and stuff like that. Um, so it's just, it's a really wonderful service and they are offering free Skillshare premium membership. Click the link below, so please do that. Please check it out. Um, I have been really focusing on their iPhone photography stuff. They have a bunch of different classes. Some of it is just the absolute basics and some of it is focused on like street photography or product photography if you're looking at starting a business and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I've been playing around especially in like the photography field. I know I talked about creative writing last time. So anyway, thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this. And let's go walk around. Maybe I'll use the uh, street photography stuff that I learned in that class. We'll see, but coffee first, always coffee first. <laughs> So long, silent movies, the quiet dances on the street. So long, the burning slowly, smelling sweat and kerosene. And all the actors on the stage are rolling cigarettes and whispering so low. Okay, it took a little bit, but I think I figured my life out. So um, we are now in Hongdae. There's a cat behind me. And I'm just gonna check up on Market Inu, check on their like vintage stuff. Then um, I remembered there is this place that is no longer new. It was new once upon a time when I found out about it. Um, it's called the Shincheon Roasting Library. And so if you've ever been to Shincheon, there's this huge structure called Uplex, which is like a mall basically. But for the longest time, it was kind of empty. Like low key, a ghost town, never really went in it. And I guess they completely remodeled the top floor. So it's like a bookstore, it's a cafe, it's got a crazy view. So we're gonna go there, especially because I thought I was gonna be hiking in a forest today and I didn't bring any reading material. So a bookstore would be lovely, unnecessary but lovely. First, clothing, hopefully I don't get anything, um, and then bookstore with a sunset. How does that sound? Perfect, honestly, let's go. <laughs> Cadillac and find a girl who likes to dance so slow. Got out of there without buying anything. <laughs> let's um, let's go hit up Object because they just changed their new um, like exhibit that they have, their like theme. So we'll go to Object and then we'll walk towards Shinchan. Box and fixing broken tape machines. Wasn't much of an actor, was I? I ain't much of anything at all. But I can't see those marquee lights that are hanging.
Okay, Uplex with this thingy. You recognize it? We're going up there. <laughs> I need a nap. <laughs> I woke up so early to go to that forest, so I'm kind of thrown off. Um, so I'm gonna go home, and I will see you tomorrow, because I promised you guys trees. I'm gonna give you trees, so I'll see you soon. <laughs> Switching from the white mask to the black mask, I look quite scary. Um, what am I doing? I just had dinner with Kurt. He has to work a little late tonight, so I met him for dinner and then I just came back home. But, a couple of things. Number one, um, I'm combining vlogs because I originally was going to do kind of like a week in my life in Seoul sort of thing and then have this forest vlog that never happened be a standalone, but now, I'm just gonna combine this day in with the rest of the week. I'm just not gonna stress about that because the whole day I was like trying to figure out how to organize things because mm, we're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna skip a day. Wild, Carrie, skipping your schedule. But also another thing is, <sighs> I'm gonna put this out there. I am thinking I'm actively thinking of starting a book club. And I know I said that I never would <laughs> because I don't like to be on a schedule when it comes to reading. Um, but I think it'd be really fun. My booktube channel, Carrie Can Read, um, it's just been super fun, like talking to everybody um, and having that Instagram and everything. Like it's a really cool community. We also just started a Discord server and we have like a separate channel just to talk about books and everyone is just a joy 2021 i'm thinking of launching it so what i need to do is actually research book clubs because i don't i've never really been a part of one and i don't really know how to best go about it so um, i'm gonna spend the next two months joining book clubs <laughs> and like figuring out how the heck to organize things right now what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Google form. Um, so I'm gonna put that up on the Discord. And I just wanna know what you guys like, like how, what should we do? I'm excited to hear your answers and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna make some tea and I'm going to make this book club form. Yeah, I, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh. I'm excited, but I don't want to say too much because I'm going in there with no idea what I'm doing. Um, so 
I'm just gonna hold back. More information will be linked down below. Um, yeah, okay, let's make tea. It's getting wild in the cakes house on a Thursday night. Oh my God, guys, this is like within minutes. You guys are ballers. Thank you so much. This is exciting. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, if you can hear bubbling in the background, my tea, my water just finished. Um, so I said that I was going to take you guys to a forest today. Um, it's not going to happen. It's 4 p.m. already. I am drinking almond milk green tea out of a butterbeer jar. I woke up just feeling quite sick. Um, so I think my body just really needed me to take a break because um, November's I'm looking at my schedule right now. November's insane. So yeah, today I just filmed a video for my book channel. If you're interested in book recommendations based on your Hogwarts house, um, I just did that. I'm just gonna edit that and kind of just read and stay inside all day because yeah, um, I got knocked out by life. Highly doubt I'm gonna be doing anything interesting today, but if I do, I'll see you then. If not, get some rest, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Oh. Morning, friends happy Sunday we woke up to some excellent news today obviously the fight is not over in so many ways especially just getting a certain someone out of the White House um, but great news anyway so yesterday was a whew, yesterday was a day so I went a little bit outside of Seoul and I was going to show you a mountain and then I got horribly lost but it was fine because everybody got lost um so I was not like alone in that um so it was actually quite fun and I made a whole separate vlog about it there is a waffle place called Patrick's Waffle today we are going to Sanjeonglung we go here every single season for a good reason. It's a beautiful little park in Gangnam. And, um, oh goodness me. And I brought a little thermos of coffee and we're just gonna sit there and have a great little morning stroll. Ah, <sighs> let's go. It's really hard to capture because every time I like get my camera ready it stops but the leaves are just constantly, am I in focus? The leaves are just constantly falling. It's so pretty. I forgot you actually can't eat or drink in here so I'm going to have my coffee um, a little bit outside, but whew, I just got hit by a leaf. That was a giant leaf. What the heck? That orange one? Do you see it? Jeez. Um, anyway, it's always a joy all year round. This is actually um, a site of royal tombs, um, but it's like mainly known for being a park. People walk here like it's the neighborhood park. People walk here during their lunch breaks. I used to because I used to work over here. It's just like the prettiest little place. It's so pretty. All right, let's keep looking. <laughs> It's so funny how some of these are still bright green, like peak of summer green, and then right there, bright orange. Those are screaming children, by the way. <laughs> I like 
can't even talk. It's such a nice day. Um, yeah, it is, what, Sunday the 8th? Is it the 8th already? Um, yeah, wow, November. I mean, I, I like can't stress enough how nice this autumn has been. Apparently we're supposed to have a really bad winter. They say that every year though. November is the weirdest time to come here because like literally one day it will be perfect and the next day it will be freezing, but it's been just, so normal. Um, this, what? The birds at Sanjunglun are the noisiest, most annoying birds ever. I So I used to work right over here, it was my office, and um, I would come here during lunch and because when I started this, the first like three, four years of YouTube, um, I had a full-time job. And so I would come and I would try and film like in here during my lunch breaks and the birds I swear they're quiet until you start talking and then they're like mur, 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 me too um, anyway I just want to pop on and say that I hope that you guys are, are doing okay um, for me like the thing that's been keeping me sane honestly has been the weather um, and I hope that it continues um, I know that for a lot of people like autumn and winter is already difficult when it comes to like seasonal depression um and it's only going to be worse with social distancing and like everybody in europe with the lockdowns so um i will just try my best to do whatever i can for you guys are you kidding me i really like i just i i'm gonna try my best to help you guys travel in any way that I can, um, give you guys little mini breaks. I mentioned it before, but there's a Discord server that we have now. Um, if you wanna talk to anybody um, that's kind of in this community, since everybody here seems to like the same things if you're watching this channel. So um, if you want to talk about books or movies, or I think people organize Among Us games, um, which I still need to get on, and um or just talk like we're we have a channel where we just share our pets so really um if you feel a little bit lost and you don't know how to find people who are interested in things that you're interested in if you think the people in my comment section are nice they're over there in the discord server so um the link will be down below as well but yeah i think i'm gonna head home ish i don't know what else we're gonna do today oh my gosh hello thank thank you um but i'll still bring you along and um Thanks for joining me on this beautiful Sunday morning. Congratulations to the United States of America. Excellent job. Um, and yeah, okay, let's do this. Great day. <laughs> We're in at Yuha University campus and there is a middle school and an elementary school here which unfortunately I didn't. I attended those two schools so I walked this road pretty much like for five years. No, nine years. Yes. And today we're gonna we're gonna tour. Okay. Let's walk. I'll, I'll explain on the way. And the thing that you see in front, that's the chapel of the Yuha University. That's where I met Jane Goodall. Okay, and that's where I used to do attend for our um, chapel every week when I was in middle school and, and elementary school. And students for you all have to go too, right? I believe so. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and there used to be a really famous cat used to live here. Around that, that, that stairs, like lurking around. <laughs> People would put like a uh, chamchi cans there. Let's take. 
so before this happen, ECC thing happened, this this was flat and you could see across the thing. This was like really open like space. Now mm. it's like a and then there used to be a bridge in front of your university because under the bridge there was a really shallow river like really not even river stream you could say and there was a really beautiful bridge over that and then you could uh, you have to cross a bridge to come to campus with the sun you can see the inside of the building here this, this is, is us how, this is how they built it so they, they there was a small really shallow hill so dig down the hill and they placed this empty space for the beam and the glass mm. and then put the middle um passage mm. that, that inside sounds pretty okay actually but there's a there's uh art house momos there yeah uh, yeah but also outsiders not allowed to use like libraries and all that inside so, so we're gonna go into this little more deeper into the ui university campus where people don't come that often Follow me. i'm gonna take a coffee break camera woman needs a sip of coffee hold on a lot of buildings are actually old, they're actually 100 years old. So for example, that chapel, it's like about, I believe it's like 90 years old or something. The building behind you, it's a um, graduate student, graduate college um, building, which is also really old. Even in UI University, Women University, there are some majors, one major that recruit not we could allow men's entry, mm. which was, I believe, dancing. And if you're a foreign exchange student. Okay. Someone's getting really pretty graduation photos. This is Autumn Wonderland. It's out of this world. <laughs> this to be my library slash computer classroom. Where the magic happened. Emergency update. I stood up because I was drinking. I didn't have my mask on and I had it. Usually I have my lanyard, but this time I had a different one and I stood up and it fell on the ground and I didn't realize and it's now gone. It is somewhere very far away. So I don't have a mask and I'm freaking out. It's semi-illegal to be walking around like this. Plus it's just irresponsible. So we have to find a mask now. I'm just breathing like this. <laughs> Most proud thing about my middle school is that it has a record of being the longest school name ever in Korea. So that's how much did I learn? 15. 15. You know what's more cooler? My elementary school is one letter longer. Yeah! <laughs> like, there sh they should have one of my paintings over here, and then I applied for it, and they rejected my painting. Really? Remember. They rejected your painting? Well, now it was more like you have to all draw it, and then like the teacher to select it, and mine wasn't selected. I was a great painter. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. I'm just keeping the coffee on my mouth so that it looks like I'm still drinking. Oh my god, there's police everywhere. What's going on? <laughs> and we're back home. So it is now Sunday night and I am just working on some stuff. We're both just on our computers. Um, nothing exciting is happening. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but Thank you for putting up with all of my plans going kaput and um, yeah, just going with the flow. Thank you so much if you have made it all the way to this point of the vlog. Um, and thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this once again um, for a limited time. Please click the link in my description box and you will be able to use the Skillshare free premium membership, which means that you get unlimited access to all of the classes. And um, yeah wow like i said november is gonna be crazy um this upcoming week i'm actually traveling to somewhere that is literally known as the middle of nowhere um which 
we'll see how that goes. That'll be interesting. Um, so I guess I will see you then. And once again, thank you for joining me. I hope that now, by the time this is posted, knock on wood, the election stuff is somewhat under control. Um, and we can look forward to, I don't know, a better, a, a somewhat better future. Um, so, alrighty. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.